Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Julie from Happiness and Crafting So today I'm going to show you how to make this really lovely, um, quite simple photograph album Now it's not very big, so it's really simple and quick to make And again, you can add as many pages as you like, but I thought I won't make it too big um, So I can just show you how it's actually popped together Which is really quite simple and I think it's lovely So it's a really nice um, little vintage um, photograph album now i found some really nice pictures of my mum and dad and my grandparents over the weekend so i thought i would um pop them in here so what i did i actually photocopied them and popped them in so these are lovely i think it's really nice now the papers that i've used are from my um latest collage one the little vintage one and i think it's lovely so this is a lovely one of my mum and her best friend on the beach um, and here and i've got some bits of tape on here i wanted to look sort of vintagey and old i've got bits of fabric um, in between the pages um, and i just love it so that's my mum and dad and there's my mum there on here it's my mum in her old car i think these are fabulous pictures my dad on the beach this is down in cornwall um, it's my dad with his parents and their friends and there's my gran and granddad so i love these i just thought these pictures look just gorgeous instead of using the originals i just photocopied them um, or scanned them in and i've just um, popped them on the page um, which is lovely and then i popped a little pocket at the back these here are ones which i've actually photocopied as well scanned in and made into little um, pockets now these are what the little photographs came in um, which are really lovely um, so i will be showing you how to make those at some point i will have those at a digital kit and then some extra little pictures there which i've just popped into a pocket and i just think that looks really really lovely little eyelet there um, and then tie together with a little bit of nice grungy coffee stained fabric which i also did at the weekend and i think that's so so simple so it's a nice easy little spine so i'm going to show you how to do this now i've got lots of pieces ready here um, and i'm going to do it with my granddaughter this time so i've got some beautiful photos of my granddaughter here which i've um, again i've printed off in black and white um, and i've just inked around the edges as well and then that's olivia so i'm going to be using those I have made these smaller now this is part of the spine okay so I've made the spine little ones a little bit smaller because I think the gap in between here was a little bit too big there are things that I would like to put on the pages as well um, so it doesn't matter so having a gap is quite nice but I've made these a bit smaller so I've made this here this is about half an inch on here um, and I've just done it as three sixteenths of an inch this time so you can see see the difference there like that um, so I didn't want such a big gap um, so I think I'm going to try that but it still looks really really nice so I've got it all ready so you need four of these for the spine now the middle bit like I said is three sixteenths of an inch this width or about a centimetre um, it doesn't really matter what size these are but I think I've done that sort of like um, half an inch or one and a half centimetres um, like that but as long as that are the same on all four so they just pop together like that so you need four of those um, and then I've got five pages on here now these ones all as I've done I've taken a a4 size sheet of paper now this is 250 gram paper and this is coffee stained um, so all i've done i folded it in four and these are just four so you just take four so i know the paper sizes um, in america are different from the um from europe so i won't give you the sizes just use the size of the page that you've got and divide it into four okay so we've got five so you want five of these um, like that so I think I've got five there we go and then we want ten ten sheets of this I've done exactly the same I've just taken a piece of my digital papers 
and divided it into four pieces. Um, so that's one and a half sheets because we want ten of these um, to cover the back and front of each one of those. Okay, and then I've also got some other bits and pieces here. Now I was thinking of just popping a little bit of pink in there, seeing it's my beautiful little granddaughter. I might add, obviously I love my purple um, rose trim, so I might add some of that. I've got some little bows here which I also made from the fabric that I colour stained at the weekend. And I might actually add a couple of these little bits and pieces. I'm not quite sure yet, but I've got it ready to the, at the side there, just in case. So the first thing that we're going to do, let's pop those pieces out. We've got our main pages, so we've got five pages. Again, make it as big as you like, but I'm just going to make it as five for now. And what we want to do, this is, this is the spine. So you take one of your pieces of paper and one of your little um, spines here. Now I want to get my glue. I'm going to glue this on. So I'm going to glue this piece here, if I can get my glue out. Let's see if it dried out the end. There we go, that's a bit better. So just glue down one of the sides. Okay like that and we want to pop this on the edge let's do it this way it's probably going to be easier just on the edge of that paper just so it folds it over like that okay so that's stuck on there these pages are all nice and wibbly wobbly because i want it all nice and vintage so again i'm going to pop some glue onto here so this is quite a nice little um, spine to do. It's nice to try different things, isn't it? So I'm going to stick that one. Let's just push that down. That one on to there. Like that. We can fold that up. Make sure we're nice and level. So then we've got our first little page like that. Okay. And then again, we want to stick the next one onto here. A little bit of glue. Stick that one on. Like that. Make sure we're nice and level. next one i will probably speed this up because you don't need to see me do all of these Okay, so there we go. That's them all stuck in together. So each little one just goes in between each page and that is your lovely little journal like that, your little um, album. So I think that looks really nice. So that's what it looks like on the spine. So what we're going to do now, we want to figure out which ones we want on each page. So obviously we're going to stick these on the back and front of each one. So I don't really mind. I was just going to have, I was thinking of having the little tree popped onto the front like that, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick all of these on the pages. This is really nice because the spine like this, when you open the book out, it still lies flat. So you can just, it can still go nice and flat so it's easy to stick the pages on so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my glue stick again use whatever glue that you want to use to stick them down but glue stick is really nice because it's sort of like a dry glue let me just get a piece of paper like this just to do the edges 
Oops. Just like that. So I will do this. And again, I will probably speed it up because you don't need to see me do stick these down on 10 pages but it's quite simple just stick them down it doesn't have it because I want this sort of like vintagey I don't want it to be perfect okay I want it that's why I've got sort of like the scruffy edges but again if you don't like scruffy edges you can just do it um, nice and neatly um, you don't have to have scruffy edges so just a nice lot of glue on the ends. Make sure we don't glue everything down. Pop this on. And then that just sort of like covers up this little spiny bit there so that's the first page another one here nice lot of glue Okay, so this is the last page, so I'm just going to do the back page and stick this on. So that's all the pages that stuck down, so that looks really nice. So that's what it looks like, and then we've just popped all of these on here, which looks really, really nice. So loving that, so that is really simple. So now what we need to do is sort of like... Um, cover the spine bit because it's a little wibbly wobbly and what I've done I've just got a little bit of fabric here um, and I've just covered the spine up there so that's what I'm going to do now now I've got some here somewhere lots of little bits and pieces so I've just measured this so it's the same length but obviously we don't want it too wide just so you get a little bit over the edge like that like that so I'm going to just tear that little bit down like that so just do it the height of your paper like that let's do it so this sticks down and that will just stick on there like that which is a perfect I might stick just a little bit of paper down there a little bit of card just to stop it from wibbly wobbling a little bit I think or maybe not maybe I will just use a little bit of fabric tack let's just stick the fabric down and see how we go so a little bit of fabric tack over the top of your spine just to stick the fabric on again you can use paper if you don't want to use fabric on it but I think that it adds to the sort of grunginess doesn't it if you use a little bit of the coffee stained, stained or tea stained paper on there so fabric I mean so we want to sort of do it so it's sort of level that's level and then we've got the right amount either side so let's it's nice it lies flat makes it a little bit easier to do so let's pop a little bit of glue 
on here to stick that down. Just gently fold it this way. You can stick this one down to turn it round. nicely like that so I think that just makes it nice look nice and grungy so which is lovely so what shall we pop over the top I'm going to just ink this just a little bit just to give it a little bit of grunginess to it lovely okay so i have got the lovely little pictures here again do it on whatever pictures that you've got um you can just pop it into some little um bits of ephemera in there but this is olivia so i'm going to pop that on the top i'm not sure we should have a little picture on the front what should we have look at that beautiful little face just gorgeous let's see we only need a little one don't we so let's see i'm going to put the rest inside so i'm going to do the picture in a minute so whether we'll have one on the front i don't know but i'm going to pop let's have a look i've got some nice bits of a grungy fabric here so let's just rip some of this up So it looks all nice. And I also want, I think, this is some lovely sort of tall, and it's really, really light. And it's a gorgeous. And I'm just thinking I might add just a little bit of pink, just to make it look a little bit more girly, I think. And what I'm gonna do with that, I'm gonna get my three in one. Or fabric tag just pop a little bit down and then just scrunch it up just like that just so it wrinkles it up a little bit a little bit of glue it will come out I think I need to use my other one I'll just keep this upside down A little bit of grungy on the top and then that over the top like that perfect and that can just is that in the middle it's in the middle there perfect I'm loving that. Let's pop a little bit more glue there just so I can wrinkle it up a little bit just like that. So how pretty is that? Lovely. Okay, where's my lid gone? Oh dear, now I can't pop it upside down because I don't have the lid. Never mind, I will find it in the middle. That's turn this over right what we need to do now before i start putting the pictures in i want to put a little bit of fabric down the middles so now i've got a couple of pieces here i think they're the ones just in there like that so i need some more Is that the right length that's about the right length i think let's just tear that down again you can use paper in the middle if you don't have any fabric so let's just get rid of that i think i need four of these tear that down again we're going to use a little bit of the fabric tuck in here without making it too much mess Side. 
page. Lovely. And do this one. Don't have to make it vintage if you're going to do this. You can make it out of any um, any style. I'm just showing you a different way of sort of like doing the spine. So it's a, like a little photo album, and I think it's really, really lovely. Super quick, which I like doing. Oh. and it's a really lovely gift if you if you've got sort of like um, to pop some little memories in here for a friend and birthday gift I think this would be absolutely perfect let's do the last one on there perfect we can always add a little bit more glue if these come off as we go through and add stuff so that's good look at that nice and scruffy Let's take these little bits and pieces out okay so that's that bit done so you can see they look really really good in there okay so where should we start so i've got some of her when she's a little bit younger on these ones he's a little bit older this one's lovely because i'll pop this one in last because this one she's actually holding um a little picture here which is a scan of her little baby sister that's going to be born in november so uh, that's very exciting and that's my daughter emily with olivia so they are lovely so beautiful pictures so let's start in the front let's have some of these little baby ones let's have this gorgeous little face there so i think i might just have a tiny bit of this underneath the pictures because i'm loving this it's very very um soft and i think it just adds a little bit of prettiness to it I think so I'm going to add a little bit of glue stick just so I can wrinkle that up like that it looks really pretty so a little bit of grunginess in there as well that looks nice doesn't it well, i think i need there's the lid gosh i'm going to get my other bottle because it's got a little bit more in it and i think it will be a little bit quicker to use so there we go that's a little bit better isn't it now i'm going to i'm not going to stick it down with those what i'm going to do i'm going to stick it down like this with a tiny bit of glue stick in the middle like that so obviously i want to make it look old and then i'm going to get like i did on this one here let's just open this up i'm going to get these little bits of tape and stick them down because i think that looks really nice like that I just wanted to look a little bit of pink and pretty in there as well. So I've got this tape. This is just sort of like um, uh, paper tape, really. But you can use masking tape as well. So I'm just going to tear some little pieces off. And then just pop some tiny pieces. It doesn't need to be a lot. Just some smaller pieces like that. And I'm going to just use a little bit here on the bottom so I think that looks really good and add a tiny little bit of um, fabric tag just to wrinkle that up 
Now I'm going to stick the pictures in first and then I'm going to come back and add a little bit of rose trim and stuff to them I think as well. So let's have this one in here, look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? So I'm going to use a little bit of tape, not a little bit of tape, a little bit of glue. When I cut them out I just sort of like went round them all sort of like wiggly woggly. So you don't have to sort of cut them out straight. You can just sort of cut them out um, a bit randomly. So if you're not good at cutting, it's a good way to do it. And I just think these look absolutely gorgeous. Let's do the next one. Look at that beautiful picture of her on the beach. different to what I would normally do with these bits of tape because I don't normally do things like this but it's nice to come out of your comfort zone and try different things um, which I do like to do now and again so it's just a tear some pieces of tape I like it as well when they sort of like flip up because um, that's how they would sort of be because they didn't normally sort of like stick them down as um, look at that little face isn't it gorgeous they didn't stick them down extremely well did they so it looks really good when they're sort of half sort of coming off masking tape if that's all you've got and then you could actually pop a little bit of ink on it just to make it a little bit browner like this because this is masking tape so it's a little bit lighter um, but you can use obviously if, you, if that's what you've got you can use that and just darken it up or you can um, use even sticky tape cellar tape or something now this one I thought, this has got a bit of sort of like checkered on it, she's got like a little checkeredy dress, so I thought that one would go absolutely perfect on there. A little bit of glue, whoops. Stick that down. Tape. Just get a little bit, these are too small these little bits, let's just throw those bits away. A little bit more. Look at that gorgeous. Now I'm going to pop this one on the back because that one is where she's holding her little picture on there, which I think is lovely. So I might just put this all the way underneath. What do you think? Just so you can just about see it on there. Let's use a little bit. Gosh, I don't even know which glue bottle I'm using now. Stick that down. Okay, up a little bit. Will that go on there? Perfect. I'm going to stick it down just for a little bit of this just because it's over the top of that little bit of tool let's stick that down pop a little bit of tape along the top perfect 
perfect. Now I need a little pocket or shall I just pop the picture on there? Maybe I'll just pop a gorgeous little picture on there. Don't really need a pocket on this one. Let's just pop you there like that. Oops, a little bit of glue. gorgeous right let's add some little bits of embellishment so look at that doesn't that look lovely looks like a really old photograph album now I've got a few more little bits and pieces now I've got a few bows as well which I think would look quite pretty on here just hanging down there got sticky little bits on here pretty isn't it just gonna pop I love this tool just... I'll pull that up on there I'm going to just stick this down this is quite nice because because of the spine and you've got a oh, nice at um, centimeter gap in between you can put bigger embellishments on each page which is a bit of a bonus isn't it so let's just stay in there which is lovely so that looks nice I don't want it too much on there we need something let's have a little bit of this on there so we shall have that stuck on there like that what should we have a little bow a little bow in the corner just gorgeous and obviously as you get little bits and pieces I'm going to find some more bits and pieces that I can stick on here as well um, which will look nice little things that she sent me so what else can we put on here let's have another piece of this tool wouldn't it let's just pop this down here I'll pull that up cut a little piece of this off I don't think we need it that wide that's not going to tear down so it's going to have to sort of be like that I think I think a little pop of colour looks really nice. We shall have some of our pretty little roses in there too. bit isn't it go underneath I think that's too bright for that page 
Let's just have this under there, I think. Another little flowery one here somewhere. There we go. I think I'm going to just pop that on there. A little bit of glue. Perfect. Make sure they all don't fall off. Now, have I got a longer bow? There we are. That would look nice just hanging down like that, I think, just on its own. Just there, stick that down. Perfect. Now, I think a little bit here, maybe we will just have little bit of rose trim two four six so we have seven have a little odd number i think odd numbers look better there we go perfect love that and i'm loving this i might actually pop a little pocket or something now if I've got any I could just use a little bit like this so we've got an extra little sort of a pocket to pop down there let's do this way how big do we need it let's have this one not too big just a little little ditty pocket on the side just a little bit of ink on there that can sit there so we can pop whatever we like in there let's put, should I put the lid on this which way around do we want this way a little bit of glue little bit of tape tape a little piece like that on the bottom a little bit just on the sides like that lovely let's pop a little bow on there shall we pop a little bow not a little bow i think i'm going to have another little piece of this just so it goes with the inside oh look at that it's all oozed out let me just wipe that off let's just put this onto here Kick it up a little bit. Oh gosh, what a mess. And then, if that will stay without getting sticky everywhere. Gosh, I had three little pieces here. So these little three can stick on there. very sticky fingers look how pretty that is I think that looks really really lovely and then what we can do I'm going to just so we know it's a little pocket just pop that in there for now I'll find something else I can pop in there 
look at that I think that looks really really nice oh let's have a little bit of rose trim on the front just a little dilly bit just on there two four six we'll have seven I love my rose trim so I think it's an absolute perfect thing to pop onto Olivia's little photo album that can go on there look at that isn't that just a gorgeous let's stick this up so it's not coming out too much underneath let's just stick that up like that perfect 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 now I'm going to make a little closure here now I'm loving that so Let's have a little flip through, shall we? See if we can add anything else or not. So look, I think that looks just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Lovely. Okay, let's make a little closure. Right, I'm gonna use a couple of little eyelets. Let's take these sort of nice oldie woldy brass ones. Oopsie daisy, I hope that didn't open up and make a big mess everywhere. I will see in a minute. So, where shall we have it? Shall we have it sort of about there, I think. Make a little hole. Squeeze it nice and tight. Then we will have let's put a little bows in. The other one's going to be let's see, push those back a bit. So that's going to be about there. Turn it over, make a little hole in there. Pop that through. Perfect. That's so so pretty. Now I've got some little bits here like that. Don't think I need all of that length, but let's see. Let's pop that through the little hole. There's just a little bit of the cotton fabric on there. Pop that through. And there we go. That's our lovely little closure. And then we can just tie that up. So I am loving that. I think that looks so, so pretty. And because this tool is so soft, I think it, make, it makes it look nice and vintagey as well. So I think that is lovely. So again, you can make as many pages as you like. Um, this is a little bit thinner, so I think it's a little bit better because this one is, is a lot, lot bigger on there. But again, you can make them whatever size you like. It depends how big a little embellishments that you want to pop on there. But I just think this is beautiful. I don't think it needs too much because we've got the collage papers in the back. Um, I think it looks um, really, really lovely and I'm loving it. So I hope you do too um, and I hope you're going to give it a go. I'm loving these little strips as well, little strips of tape and like that. Look at that little face. How gorgeous. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're safe and well. Um, please take care and I will see you guys soon. So there we go. That's my two lovely little photo albums. 
All right, guys, take care. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.